Hello everybody, my name is Mantis, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of sorts on, uh, just a light tutorial, because I'm just getting to it myself, uh, for Minecraft slash Mojang's command system called Brigadier, that they, uh, or Brigadier, I think, added <coughs> in 1.13 they switched all their commands to um and uh basically in order to use this you'll need your server to be on 1.13 plus and um we'll need a library that was provided by Lucko, a the like perms developer um so i guess to get started, we'll just create a new project here. Um, I use Gradle, so that's what I'm abusing. You guys can use whatever you want, as long as you can import the library, Gradle or Maven. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Brigadier Tutorial, because that's what I'm doing. Down here, put in our group ID. Uh, okay. I'm going fast through all of these steps here, so uh, I'm hoping you guys should already mainly know all this. It's not a plugin tutorial. Um, I'm using Java 17. Okay. Create. Okay, here we go. Wait for it to uh, load everything. Okay, don't know that. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and do this stuff here. Well, let's quickly setting up the project. So now I will use um, on this link here org slash wiki slash spigot gradle there's also spigot uh dash maven Let me do this okay file only I type that in. there we go i believe i can type 20 22 it should hopefully work and we do anything really cool there. and then we will get you know what we need is we need the shadow riddle plugin in order to relocate the library so we got this line in there there we go and then we'll copy that and uh, everything else we need. Shadow minimize relocate and uh get okay, there we go. That's all I need currently. Then I'll go over to the second link we need github.com slash luck o slash commodore. There's all of this. This is all this right here. This main readme file is pretty much everything you need to know, except for the wiki tab. There's a good, there's some good stuff there as well that'll help us out. So basically, what Brigadier is, or Brigadier, sorry, Brigadier is, you got the uh, it, it's this like colored highlighting here, and from my time working on it, it's not actually that hard to understand. Um, but I haven't seen many tutorials on it, so that's why I'm making this one. Because it actually took me a little bit to figure out after messing with it. So as you see here is the uh, the command, or the label. And then you have the first arc, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Um, but in reality, this is a... Uh, well, we'll, we'll get into it. This is what they call a literal arguments it means you literally type out this word here 
and then here is a player name uh which is a re like required argument and then a another two literal arguments and then a uh a phrase and then uh we'll, we'll, we'll get into it uh let me just add it to my uh, project first. Fredel. There's Maven here as well. So we need to add this, which is link for uh, Brigadier, not Commodore, but you need Brigadier to make it work. And then we do here, our latest release is 2.2. Two. And we got we already have Maven Central. Here's another line for Shadow, but it's a bit older. Okay, so yeah, Shadow Jar will want to exclude there. Exclude that. I believe that will make it not optimized. And then, yes, relocate me dot let go dot commodore. And then we'll do brigadier tutorial libraries dot commodore. So, in realis realistically, this isn't exactly a brigadier, a brigadier tutorial as much as it is a commodore tutorial. But this is just a library to use Brigadier commands. Um, okay, I think we have everything we need. We have the implementation for Commodore. We have the repository URL for Brigadier, library.minecraft.net. We have the shadow relocating. Let's just go ahead and see if it works. It should. Theoretically, and we'll go make our new package. Okay. So like that. Do the class, the main class. Okay, there we go. So that didn't work. We may need to change this out. Uh, so several point nineteen point three or something. Um, it would be a lot easier actually to just use paper, so I'm gonna go pull that up. Um, is it, it's they have the latest um, the latest uh, compile only thing here. This is with that one point twenty two. And then we just need the repository. There we go. From got that from docs.papermcu.io slash paper. And you just go down to development uh, getting started paper project setup. And it's right there on that page. Just scroll down a little bit. Okay. Uh, Stands Java plugin, perfect. There you go. Okay. And now we can do uh we'll, we'll make a, a plugin up line now. And Sure, I need to put it back on there. Tutorial version one point one. Lazy queue. Project type version. Honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't ever remember how that variable goes, but I'll just do that because it's really easy to just change and it's not like I'm making a public plugin here. If I was I'd use a uh, 
whole different system for this. Okay. And commands. We want. Okay. Usage. Good use. Mm. There we go. And we'll say description. There we go. Um, I believe let's do API version point twenty. So it's not counted as a legacy plugin. Okay. And now we can do... I'll show you guys what I like to do here to make it much easier to make commands. So we'll do... Um, uh, I'll do... Uh, what should I name it? I'll name it... Um, para command. This is just going to be a uh, a class to help you make commands easier. It's not going to be our main command class here. <clears throat> Implements and executor and add completer. Okay. And I will do here generate right methods and we'll do you and you okay yeah you know, those are the methods that we need and then i'll do a uh on that i don't actually need to override this one but it's yeah i'll just leave it like that you don't it's not required since it's an abstract class actually I do like to add this here. That way, I don't. Ha it's not required in our command classes that extend the pair command class, but we could override it in the other class if we wanted to. Then, then we'll do not null. We have four class, and then we need. Okay, so we'll have the name for the command. Right. Let me pull up my uh my example project here, one that I've done this on already. Okay. And then in here we'll do uh, plugin command command equals core dot get command name. So the name is going to be the same thing that we put in the uh, plugin.yml. If man no turn. That way there's no errors that the command can't get reached from the con to, from the plugin.yml. Man set executor this. Man set cat completer this. And then now we need our Commodore utility stuff. We'll do uh Commodore handler maybe class. And then we go into okay. public Commodore handler or name class again. And we were bring it up here. And then we want private Commodore, Commodore. Okay. And then we have a method here. We'll go ahead and register. Not no, I know plugin command. And not no, bring node file name. Uh, to actually no, we don't want that to be final because just to make our life easier 
Commodore. You need file name. We're gonna append the file extension to it if it's not already on there. Okay. Now we're gonna do a literal command node with a question mark right here. It's a wildcard type thing. We're gonna do a try catch, try move Commodore file reader dot instance dot parse or dot get resource node file name. Okay, and we get the catch statement IO exception or runtime exception. Print the stack trace. There we go. And now we do. Oh, we also need to return it. They can make this look better. Um, I know a lot of people do like that. Commodore register command and then the node. And then there you go. You're all done with this part. Commodore's there, but it's not actually loaded yet, so then we'll do equals null it comes over equals null return there we go and here we'll do commodore actually uh, if commodore provider that is supported meaning if your server is 1.13 plus and nothing else goes wrong commodore equals commodore your provider dot get commodore and the main class there we go so now now it will be null if it's not supported and if it's null then it won't try to register a commodore file to the command and otherwise it will it will try to do that there we go okay so now we go back to here private Commodore handler. Commodore handler. Commodore handler. New Commodore handler. This. Or public Commodore handler. Making a getter here. Right. And then here. Four dot Commodore handler dot register plugin command is command and the name should be name. But uh, you should you can also well hold, 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 I'll I'll show you okay so here is our uh, command infrastructure except for this we'll get to this in a second uh, actually we need to do one more thing. That's right. String There we go. And down here, I'm going to say run. Label or X. There we go. So the only reason, the only reason I do this instead of using this method is so that I don't have to return true uh, every time I'm turning in the command logic. There we go. So there is our, all of our stuff, and then we're gonna make our first command. We get the command extends pair command we're going to implement our run method and our constructor and we're going to take out this parameter and put in brigadier as we as we put it here okay and then what we're going to do is well, anything really so we wanted a uh, 
you know, we're plugging a YML here. We have okay, we have a help sub command and a calculate command. So what we're gonna do is do that stuff. Very good your help. Very good your calculate. For one or actually one and two for the two different inputs. And then okay. It's a lot of sorry if you hear back in noise. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. So what we're gonna do um uh, we're gonna have to use some more logic I like to do. It's, it might be a little non traditional or anything, but Right player, no, sender player, player equals player sender and final win player equals player not equal to not. Okay, and now I'm going to implement. I'm going to uh, grab our or class just so I can use the logging methods in the command. So, r is length, it's in one. Player message usage is um, help. Uh, or calculate. Else, or bit logger. Uh, info. Usage. Review. Help. Calculate. And return. Okay. So that way we have our usage message and we'll make our help method here. Okay. Uh, it is clear. Clear send message. Example. Usage example. Break here. Calculate. Five and ten. Else for a bit longer intro. Example. Very good. Here. There's our help command. Equals calculate. Okay. And now we want no double one and two, All right? So then we'll do it's length less than two. There's send message. Please input in your or logger intro. Please input a number return. Uh, yeah. Try one equals double parts double. It's one patch number format exception. Claim here send message valid number. No score get longer in here. Valid number. Or it's one. 
Okay. And then we will do the same for two. So make this page two. And first saying regards length less than three. Go ahead and copy this logic here. We're doing the same thing. Let's input another number. Okay. And now we are we can safely assume they have both arguments in. So then we can do display. Actually, final we'll go here. Result. Result equals one plus two. Result. Actually, we can find a string. A string or equals with string value of result and if r ends with length zero or equals uh, substring zero or dot length of this two. Here we go. And this for no longer into result plus r. Okay, there we go. This should be our whole command. It appears so. I could have got something wrong, but that's just because I'm not thinking or not remembering right now. Okay, and now. Um, let's see. I think that should be fine, actually. So then we'll do this. And then we're going to resources, create a new file, uh, brigadier.commodore. And this is uh, how Commodore. Yes, that's. Um, I don't like how this stays there. Whatever. So now we're going to do our command, basically creating the. Uh, it's just as associating the arguments and the argument types and everything. So, brigadier. This is the um, the label. Just go ahead and make sure I am doing everything. Okay. Yep. So then we have the help subcommand, and then calculate. Um, and basically, what we're doing here is this is a Brigader is Brigader help and this Brigader calculate and then we're going to go in here and do one Brigade Brigadier uh, double and then we're going to do get something smoky here with all this and then two for your double and then there you go so basically if it's has a sub command or if it has a sub argument then you do a uh, bracket close open bracket if it if the sub command ends there then you put a semicolon but if the sub command keeps going then you just keep going down the tree basically so that's our file. That's everything we need. That's all Commodore needs uh, for this command. And uh, now all we need to do, since we already did all the logic, new command, this. There we go. Now everything should be ready to just simply put it on the server. Uh, however, there is more we can do which i guess i'll have to get into afterwards so i'm gonna go ahead and and put this onto the server and see what happens okay i'm back here and i'm on the server 
you know, I have to do is type the brig view, which is space. You'll see we have our two options here, help, and then you'll see, normally it doesn't say incorrect argument for command definition, but this is, this is Brigadier at work here, like normal Minecraft commands. The help, and then you'll see the usage command, Brigadier calculate, and then here's a little thing that you might get tripped up about. It'll, st it'll say your username the arguments but as you can see it uh is red because you're not supposed to uh because you're supposed to have a, a double here but if we click escape here then you'll see one and two which is what we typed out in the commodore file so we do one and two you'll see we got uh it's blue and it's yellow Adding more, they're going to be red because it's not registered that those are arguments for Commodore. So we do that, and the results three, we do 100 and 15, we got 115. Uh, negative 10 is 90. Negative 10, negative 20, negative 30. As you can see, it works great. Uh, like I said, the only thing here is that it'll want you to tab in. Um, your username um, but let's see if we can change that by going back to our project here go back to our command class and we can go down here and actually we can do generate override methods on tab complete so here we have this and we can do make this look better see all our um there you go Turn null. normally it should be returns null but let's say um we want if uh sender is player okay return null Okay. And then we'll do our uh, length equals, let's see here, um, it's equal to two, I think, right? Which is always so hard to remember. One, two, three. Yep. Zero. One, two, three. This is the length while zero, two, the index. That's, it, it, it can get tricky sometimes. If you, it's, you know, if your brain can't uh, wrap your head around it while trying to visualize it, you can type that out like that. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, you can just do it one two, and I get confused, even though it's again not very confusing. That's great. So, arc length if it's equal to two, or arc length equal to three, then return list dot of. One, two, three, and we'll just say that. Do that, and then I will go ahead and build it, put it back on the server, see what happens. Okay, here we are, I'm back. Um, this is my plugin list, by the way, nothing special. Generic plugins. We're good here. Calculate, and. Okay, so something must have gone wrong. Let me see the temp later. Hold on. We'll see. You know what? I might not have built it. Hold on. Okay. 
I were back, and I, the problem was, in fact, that I forgot to build it before I put it back on the server. Because uh, I got distracted with something. But there we go. And now we have our one, two, three, one, two, three, and then nothing. So, basically, what you want to do with this information is not only are you going to be using Commodore, you're also going to be using the generic tab completer methods. Uh, and command executor methods. Um, that way you still get um, the correct tab completions when Commodore doesn't build it automatically because Commodore only fills in literal command arguments as tab completions, uh, as you saw with um, help and calculate. Those are literal command arguments. That means you're literally typing out help or calculate. But these are arguments, uh, required arguments that, are, uh, that you need to type in, so it's not going to suggest anything to type in, therefore, yes, that, therefore you need the on tap complete method as well. Um, but, as you saw, when we didn't have anything in here, all it, all it showed was our player name. Uh, that's actually because if it returns null, then it'll just suggest your player name or maybe other uh, uh, yeah just your, it'll just suggest your player name if it's null to fix that you can just do uh return uh collections that empty list like that and we'll run this see what happens now when we go to uh type in the command okay we are back with the empty list uh, tab completer. Let's see. Very good here. Calculate. And there you go. It shows nothing. Um, so, I would suggest doing a, uh, doing both of these. So, instead of having it return null, return an empty list. So, it doesn't even suggest typing in your player name. And if you're at the argument that you want, Something you typed in at, you can provide an example by returning a list of like random numbers and stuff. There you go. So that is uh, the simplified way of using Commodore and Brigadier, uh, Brigadier commands while not changing up what you know about commands via the command executor implementation already. Because most of this is just what you already know, assuming you're making plugins and commands already. Uh, some people may not have known about tab completer, it's not the most known thing. Um, but I know a lot less people knew about Commodore and the Brigadier command system. Uh, basically, instead of doing like, uh, let's see what plugins we have, let's see, via version. Um, even even via version uses uh, Brigadier, um, and I know World that it definitely does. So I'll start set this. You can see it's blue. That means they're using Brigadier. They might not. They they could or they may or may not be using Commodore. They might have their own systems since they're pretty advanced plugins. But um, who knows? Filter. Even um, protocol lib. So I don't have any plugins with ex on the server with uh, just examples without it, but it'll basically just look like a command, and then imagine this is all just, just white, like this. Imagine I type Brigadier Calculate. It, it'll look like this, but because we have Commodore, it's all colorized and neat. So, there you go. Thank you for watching. Hope you learn something hope it helped you out um you know actually instead of just any there i can explain a little more about um the commodore files because that is interesting to know about and helpful um here we got the here we got the file here um and as you see here this might be a little confusing for you or well, not saying that you don't understand it, but it might be confusing to a beginner. Um, basically, you have the argument name, 
and since it's not a literal argument, it's not going to be suggested in the tab later. Um, and then you have the type of required argument that it is. So um, it's a brigadier double, which means obviously just a Java double, uh, which means it'll 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 be read if you don't input a, a double or an integer. Um, and there's a lot more of these types of things here. We can go look at it actually. Back over here on the GitHub for it, you got a wiki. And then you got types here. So these are, this is an example file. You get, again, the command label, the literal argument, another literal argument, and then a, I guess it's not called a literal argument technically in this example. So you got command, literal, which is what you're typing, and it will be on the tab completer. And then you got the argument which is what you're typing in. So you got Brigadier colon type and the types also can have options, but the, that depends on the type. Um, so you get on here. Uh, there are certain limitations you can read about. Um, obviously you can't have, uh, but the only, I think the only limitation here is that you can't have two arguments on the same level. You can only have one. Um, so you can do this. You can have multiple literals on the same thing. So you can type day, night, uh, noon, night, midnight, or you can input a specific time integer. But you cannot do. You cannot input both time and something else on the same spot of the command because that just doesn't make any sense. So if that was um, the case. Here's uh, the example in game here. So you can have day, midnight, night, noon, or you can input an integer. Um, I don't know how to do this type of stuff, but maybe this is just tab computers. Um, but you can put an integer, but you obviously there's only room for one integer on this argument. So you can't have more than one argument there. So that's the only limitation, which completely makes sense. And okay, now we're into argument types. So you have a string, um, the string argument type, so you can uh, type in a word. So instead of, uh, instead of um, an integer here, or we'll do, instead of an integer here and here, or double technically, we could do, Hello. And if it was a string, um, then it would work. Um, but there's also options. You have a um, single word, which means just hello, just one word. There's no spaces allowed in it or anything. Um, so yeah, you can't have a space or it'll go or a count is the next argument. But you can do um you could do quotable phrase a quotable phrase option and then you would be able to do in quotes a whole string with spaces um just like that or the last one is called greedy phrase and that can only be put as a last argument so you can't have it in the middle you can't have it uh can't have it here. You can only have it at the last, it's the last uh, argument. And that is because it doesn't require quotes. So it'll just keep going on and on. And you could type as much as you want and it would count as that same argument. Obviously not for your command logic though. You'll have to code that in yourself um, to have more, like just running on and, and stuff with spaces and stuff, which is a little tricky. So. I, I don't I wouldn't see the point of it. I would just use greedy phrase personally um, over quotable phrase because that's harder to code in. Okay, and then there's integer. Um, you can set a minimum and maximum option. So you could do integer and then uh, one for, um, it can't be lower than one and it can't be higher than a hundred uh, for it to 
if it, it was if it was outside of these bounds it would be read in the command same thing with long same thing with float same thing with double and then there's a boolean which just means you had to you had to type true or false uh, and that's that's basically it uh, except you don't type boolean you type colon bool uh, so that's er that's pretty much it that's everything you need to know uh, and you can another thing to know is you can also create a node yourself in the code without using the Commodore file so if you wanted to instead of using the file you can go um, you do public literal command node node and here I'll make an example just to uh, um, uh, equals uh, what was it literal command a literal argument builder let's say return literal argument builder literal and then we'll say what is the command name yep so we'll do very good here and then we'll do dot build return it so that's that um so now, at this point in time, with this line of code right here, we're at this line in the file, or right here. And there's no continuation yet. So let's go ahead and add in all this stuff here. So we'll do, um, it was dot then, and literal, uh, there's literal oh yeah literal argument builder. it's the same thing uh dot literal help and then we'll do another dot then required argument builder dot argument one uh require argument type ah oh, yes okay um we'll do double argument type dot double org right so there's this so right here we're at we're at this line actually no we need to do the uh the, the uh literal argument builder dot literal of delete and then that means we need to take this and instead of putting it here we're going to put it here there you go and it'll it'll start to form like a little tree. So the further you go down, the uh, the more the more you you'll know that it goes like uh, like that. Okay. So here we have Brigader help, uh, Brigader calculate, and then position one and position two. So uh, yes. So this is the this is the equivalent here in code as this file. Um, you could do it either way, but it's uh, a bit easier to just do it like this in the file than here, unless you don't like to do the uh, file loading stuff. So here, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna make it static just to make it easier to grab it, but I wouldn't recommend making it static or public for that fact public public or static probably wouldn't recommend it i would actually probably put this in uh uh the, just like its own thing um so we actually probably actually we don't even need this uh so the problem with this current setup is it does not very friendly for this method um since we're automatically handling it in here in this file with this but we could make another method uh, literal man node node now 
because we already have that. We don't need any of this logic there. There we go. So we could do that, and then that would mean we could make this private and non-static, and then we do core dot or handler dot register. Um, we could take this out. Dad do implements command executor have completer. And so we have this method, and then we go ahead and add in this method and true run under legal words. There we go. Just like that. I'm basically just converting it so that we can use the node here. So then we grab basically all this logic. Right here. Set executor, set tab completer, counter handler, the register, node, just like that. And it should work exactly the same. We can test that out. Let's go ahead and build it on all. Be right back. Okay, we're back. And just to test or verify that it worked. There we go. Help calculate. Calculate one, two. 120. There you go. So there is how to use the code method, uh, how to make the command, uh, literal command node object instead of using the file. But to be honest, the file is much easier. I just think that the code method has a little bit more methods to it, but you don't need them, uh, to be honest. You just need this file and the tab completer to get it to work the way you want it to and everything should be fine after that honestly I'm going to convert it back to just uh to just using the um, the system that we made with the uh the command the abstract command which I can just rename to abstract command makes it easier to understand and then the handler um, there that's all you need um, you have a whole plugin ahead of you I suppose if you're making one uh, but that's really all you need to use Brigadier and if you're on if you're making a plugin for versions below 1.13 it won't work um, but if you're making a plugin that supports 1.8 to 1.20.2 for example then it'll work if you're if this if whichever server is using it if it's on 1.13 plus it'll work otherwise it won't show anything and you need the uh, well, I, I was going to say you'd need this, but this wouldn't show up on if on legacy versions either below 1.13. Since this, I believe, is a part of the Brigadier system tab completion. Um, or at least it was added when they switched to it. It's, ju it's just, this is just not as extensive as, um, as the Brigadier Commodore library and everything. So there you go, that's all you need. Thanks for watching.